I'm an honors art student at Wissick High School, and I'm interviewing three portfolio students, Georgina, Emily, and Amelia. So my first question is, um, has high school been an inspiration for your art, negative or positive? Um, I think it's been a positive because of just the people I've met and the experiences I've had. And it's just made my art a lot stronger. Yeah, before this I didn't really have any real art classes. Like we have, you know, the typical everyone takes the same classes in middle school and whatever and it's not even every day. But once you get to high school it's like you really start to focus and learn different skills and techniques and materials and stuff. So it's definitely been positive. Um, I think it's helped me a lot. I've thought more broadly about art and what I consider art and I've completely changed my style of art from when I started and I think it's become stronger because of that. Okay. Um, has having honors art changed your art making process or portfolio? Yes. <laughs> um, I think so because, um, well before this you have to take our media one and two which is just sort of introductory but then once you get into honors and eventually portfolio it's like you're really going in depth and you have to put a lot of thought into your art and conceptualize and go through different processes and stuff so it's not just like making stuff and then you take everything you've learned in honors and you apply it to portfolio where you get to just explore anything you want to pretty much. I think it's really expanded what I do in art a lot more and I'm able to more freely do it and it's really open-ended how you can do it. Yeah I feel the same way and it just I feel like my art has gotten a lot more in depth than what I started with in like art media and all that stuff. So it's been, you know, it's impacted a lot. Okay, do you guys plan on pursuing art after high school? I do, yes. I'm going to Monco for art classes and I'm really excited about that for that, so. And I'm going to uh, Kansas City Art Institute um, next year. And so I'm pursuing photography specifically, so it's a little different than what other people are doing, but I kind of combine my art and my photography, so yeah. I'm not going to school for art, but I hope I can take classes and do it on the side whenever I can. Okay, do you guys think that your art reflects who you are and how you live your life? I definitely think it does, personally, just because I make my art all based on how I feel and just things that are going on around me, so it definitely is that. Yeah, with my photography, I don't, I take more of just in the moment, like what's going on, if I'm with my friends or if I happen to be outside and I see something that really catches my eye, and so it's definitely like just in the moment of what's going on in my life and what I'm doing. Um, not necessarily when I do it. I'm usually just in class and it's really spontaneous art. It's not usually, doesn't really usually have any meaning behind it about my life at all. But I just enjoy the way it looks. Okay. Um, has art been something that's been a big part of your life for like a long time or is it something new? I've been drawing and art has always been a big part of my life since I was like two or something and I've always been doing this and I hope to continue doing it and it's just I feel like it's a coping thing with different things that are going on so it's really just something I can release anything express you know yeah for me um, my dad's an artist so it's something that I've always grown up with and when I was younger I was always drawing and coloring and making things so I mean it's definitely changed since then but um, it's always been a part of my life. I've always loved art. I loved it in elementary school. It's the only class I looked forward to during the week. When I was in preschool I always drew little figures and I, I loved it the most out of anything. And I was also really inspired by my dad because he painted a lot. 
And so he would get me sketch pads and I would go outside and sketch things. So it's been a part of my life for a while and I always, throughout high school, I always took the art classes I could take. Okay, would you guys call yourself artists? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, if Wissick and Cut, their art program your freshman year, do you think you guys would be pursuing it and wanting to make it and love it as much as you do? I think so. Even if they didn't have it, I would find some way to have that in my life. Because, I don't know, I just feel like I'd be lost without it. So. Oh, I think because my focus is photography, and most of the photography I've done has been um, just self-taught, and so with that I would still be pursuing it, but as far as my other art goes, I would probably have not nearly the amount of confidence in it that I do now, because I've gained that through the art classes, and beforehand I didn't really have any idea of what kind of artist I was outside of photography. I don't really think I would ha have done as much as I do now. I, w I wouldn't have really known photography, and which is also a lot of my art as well. And I wouldn't have been able to explore and be able to do new things because before these classes I would get really frustrated with the way I did my art. But now I feel more free about it with the classes I've been taking. Okay, is there, is there something that you think about when you make art? No. <laughs> you just do it? Yeah. I guess it depends. Like, um, this year I'm in honors and portfolio, so a lot of what I do in honors, which is all assigned to us, um, kind of carries over into my portfolio work and all. Like, we just completed working on a still life. So, for the past marking period or two, um, we, I've been doing, in both my portfolio and honors work, I've been doing still life based stuff so it kind of that's what I was you know that's what I was thinking about and that's what all my projects were based on and then sometimes it's also just sort of spontaneous and then it turns into like its own project and becomes more I think mine really reflects how I feel and think about different things and it may just start off as being something random but then it turns into something that I feel or can express myself through. So. Okay, do you, how do you define yourself as an artist? I know that's a question that you probably think is, you know, <laughs> that, you, uh, that you would hear normally, so. Uh, abstract, I guess. Um, for me, I would just say photographer, because Despite everything I do, it's where I feel most comfortable and most confident, and it's definitely what I'm pursuing. Um, I don't really know with like what I'm doing specifically, but I bring my photography into my art, um, and it's just sort of a part of everything I do, so definitely photographer. I don't really know how to define myself as an artist, but like I feel like my thought process and how I make art is really how it defines me as an artist. Okay, do you think there is a limit to how far you can go with your art? I honestly don't think there is. It's just like, it constantly changes and just new things, new ideas come to mind and then you just create something totally different. So I don't think so. Yeah, like not even us personally, but just as different artists out there in the world. I mean, you can pretty much look at anything that was crafted by someone, be it, you know, a building or a sculpture or, you know, some little tiny book, and somehow that's art. And so I really think it is limitless. Yeah, what she said. Um, do you prefer listening to music when making art or having it, like, be silent? I like having like quiet background music. Yeah, I don't like silence in general. I mean, unless I'm sleeping or something. <laughs> but um, but if I'm working and trying to focus on something, having silence actually distracts me. So I just like soft background music. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, uh, my last question is, how do you feel about going to college where everyone loves art just as like, much as you do? You know, they love the same thing that you do. I feel like that's a really cool experience because I've been so tired of people just like, you know, crashing art and everything. I just want to get out of that and go into like a different, I don't know, mindset or environment where everybody feels the same way. So. Yeah, sometimes when I'm thinking about that, because being seniors, we think about the future in college a lot, and it just seems so surreal to me that I'm going to be going to school to do this, and that's what everyone's going to be doing, and this is like, this is what my classes are going to be like, and even the more, you know, liberal arts academic classes are still focused around art, and it's just, it's kind of amazing really to think about that you have if you're something you're really passionate about that you have the opportunity to do that I think it's really great unfortunately I won't be in an environment like that. <laughs> do you guys think you'll be like intimidated by other artists or do you think it'll just be everyone is just like oh you know I like this and this do you think you'll, you'll like honestly be intimidated by it? I think at some points you would be, and then other times you just gotta, you know, go there and do what you have to do. That's your art, and you just gotta follow with that. I tend to be more inspired by other people than intimidated, um, but in certain areas where I'm not as confident or as experienced, um, I do kind of get discouraged when I see other people's work and think, well, I could never do that, but I just... I mean, I know where my forte is, and so I just have to stick with that and then try my best in other areas. Okay. Thank you guys for answering my questions. Thanks again. I'm Kim Gaylor, and we're at the Art Installation.